now I'm going to be doing a um, kind of a, a little guide on Mega Minx PLL and how it relates to 3x3 PLL. Not really that extensive, just showing some cases that are similar or the same um, on Mega Minx as on 3x3. So, um, the first case, I guess, is um, a J perm. So, this is a J perm on a 3x3, obviously. Um, it has this, this bar here, um, and it's kind of a block, too. And, um, on Mega Minx, it looks like this. There are two two block bar things, uh, one in the front, one in the back, and um, it's the same algorithm. It's just the R U uh, F prime one, and that solves that on three by three. And for the Mega Minx one, you have to make sure that uh, one block is in the front and one is in the back left and then you just do the same algorithm and that's a u2 auf i messed up on that um so the next one is uh the other j perm so this is it on a three by three same thing just mirrored and And here it is on a Mega Minx, same thing but mirrored. And um, you can really use any th any of the, these J perms um, on this. You can you can use any on the other one too. It's just you have to. I don't know all of the AUFs and stuff for every J perm, so you'll kind of have to figure that out on your own if you have your own alg that you like. Um, it should work on Mega Minx as long as it's like. Uh, like R U L move set, um, but this is the one I use. I put it on the table, and then I do this. Same as my J perm for three by three. It's just for three by three, I do a rotation like this. So yeah. So now, oops, keep them. The cool thing about T-perm on Mega Minx is that you can you can always AUF it to um, the same case. So like for J-perm, you there there are two distinct cases, um, just like on three by three, but. Um, You'll see with the Y perm, it's it's different, but there's only one. If you AUF correctly, there's only one T perm on the Mega Minx. So T perm, everybody knows T perm pretty much. Um, this algorithm. It's the same on Mega Minx. You just um, well, this is what it looks like. There are four bars. Four um, yeah, I guess bars. Uh, Two of them are facing each other. Kind of, well, both sets are facing each other. I recognize it by um, solving two of the edges, and so that the um, the bars look like this. And if there's one unsolved corner that doesn't match any of the edges around it, if that's in the front, that I can do the T perm. If it's not. Uh, it looks like this, and if it's in the back, then just do a U2 and a rotation, and it's this, it's the right way. So, T-perm. T-perm. Um, next is Y-perm. So, for Y-perm... This is what it looks like on a 3x3. Three three. Uh, on Megaminx, it's very similar. It's just 
instead of all of these being unsolved, um, there's a block back here that doesn't match up. Um, as long as you match these two up, it won't match up with the with any of the edges or corners back there. Um, this is the normal Y perm. Um, so you just hold it like a normal Y perm on three by three, and with uh, these two bars in the front right, and then just do a Y perm. But there's another Y perm. Um, they are, I guess you'd call them inverses of each other. Well, they are mirrors, but they, when when you do one, it get you get the other. So um, this one is the mirror, the anti Y perm. And um, what I do for this, I I was just playing around with it the other day actually. Um, what I do for it now is. Um, is just use my left hand and just do a Y perm. It's really awkward though, so I'm trying to learn how to do it from the back so that if you put the bars in the back and you do like a, I don't know, that's not right. Um, That's awkward too, but I mean, it's it's better to know the case, and it be kind of awkward at first, and then make it make it a little smoother. So um, it's better to know the one look than the two look, even if it's a little awkward at first. Um, so next one, R perm. No, I'll get two three by threes. Sorry, that was my phone. Okay, so these are both uh, R perms, and there are two R perms on Mega Minx. Um, they look very similar. Um, I I only have one alg that I do for R perms on Mega Minx. Uh, I just mirror it. And it's the alg I use for this case, so I don't do the um, R U the J perm kind of thing, except with the U two. I do the um, R perm U two R U two and the F stuff, and I do that one for Mega Mix. So um, so actually, I set this up kind of wrong but this is what it look this is what one of them looks like so um it's has it looks like kind of like a t perm on three by three except uh, this isn't like the opposite of this even though there really is no opposite on mega mix um but if i i recognize it like if this edge goes back here which it does i do the uh left-handed version the anti R perm, which is, um, it's kind of hard to do. It's kind of weird to do U twos because they have to be a certain direction. Because if you do it the other direction, it's a completely different move. Um, so, and that's one of them. And then the other one, if the edge is going to the other position, the back right, um, then I just do a mirrored version of it. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Yeah, I can't think of any more. Um, there are U-perms, but they're completely different algorithms. Um, they're actually kind of like one-handed Z perms, the RU Z perms, um, but they're they're a little they're they're actually in my EPLL tutorial.
that I did for last season. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.